And welcome back to more Super Paper Mario. Last time we started the Pit of 100 Trials and we made it to floor 30. Now we're on floor 31 and seeing what awaits us this time. Again, kind of an RNG based floor. We're kind of at the mercy of the enemies cooperating with us, unfortunately. Uh, but we can speed it up with our good old friend Luigi. You can do that. If an enemy is on the ceiling and is being annoying, we can just kind of bash him with a super jump. Oh, there we go. So again, just a quick rundown, basically defeat the enemy that has the key, which is random, use the key, that's it. Now we're getting into chapter 3 enemies, appropriately, since we're in the 30s. Oh, Luigi's not good for this, why am I using Luigi? <laughs> uh, let's go back to Mario. Again, that was a good actual example of how fast these floors can go if you get good luck. If you get bad luck, oh man. You could be here for a while, but if you get good luck, these go really quickly. Another key. And away we go, we can avoid all this nonsense over here. Unless you want points, but we don't particularly care about points at the moment. Uh, we got the key really fast, but I'm having a hard time figuring out how to get to the actual door. Yep, in this case the pipe was actually the fastest method, but uh, getting back to our topic from last part, uh, another remaster that actually exists in a weird form is actually Super Mario Galaxy. Yes, a 1080p 60fps port of Super Mario Galaxy does exist, officially. It's only available on the NVIDIA Shield in China, because that's how they release a lot of Nintendo games in, in the Chinese market. So, because the Nintendo Switch uses the NVIDIA Tegra 1? X1, I think is actually the name of it? A lot of people are speculating that this is something Nintendo is cooking up, trying to come up with a, an HD emulator for Switch, basically. I'd be down! I want all these Wii games to be ported. Galaxy is a great game, and honestly, smoothing out textures would look really nice. So I welcome the idea of Galaxy on Switch. Oh hi, that's where you are. I almost switched to Luigi, but it would be just as quick to just stick it out with Mario. I would really like Mario Galaxy on Switch, but I'm not sure how likely it is. I think it would make money. <laughs> uh, I think it'd be pretty successful. These are ninjas, like, from Samurai's Kingdom. They're kind of obnoxious, to be honest, so hopefully we don't have to fight too many of them. As we've lost a lot of health fighting them. <laughs> We're getting out of here as quick as possible. door is right here, so if it's actually in this guy right here... Nope, I should not have expected my luck to actually be good. Nope, not good luck. Oh, we can't actually go that way. Let's go with the pipe then. <laughs> I like how this could have been a really short floor, but it's going to be a very long floor just because of not having good spawns. There we go, not too bad. Not great either, but not too bad. So, we should be on floor 35? 38. I keep misjudging how many floors I've done, because these go really fast, so I tend to lose track. It feels very snappy, which is not something I could say for the first games. Uh, pit. When I say first game, I mean Thousand Year Door, because the first game actually didn't have one, so the first game to have one was Thousand Year Door. Hammer Bros and all their variants are always the worst. I don't know which is worse, Fire Bros or Boomerang Bros, because I really don't like either. Okay, this raises the question of where the heck is it? It's gotta be in one of these guys. I switched to Luigi for nothing. I hear a cat on sight, so I hope that's not too audible. So, floor 40. 
That was a quick run, and we get the Slim card! Pretty cool. And we got a new set of enemies, we got more pigs, we got clubbers now. Ooh, that we cannot one-shot. So this is the first enemy we're seeing that we're actually having a little bit of a harder time with. Not too bad. Not bad at all. I feel like every floor tends to be very much similar length. Like, every set of 10 tend to be very similar lengths, it's just some of the really long floors even out with some of the really short floors. Actually, this isn't a bad placement, uh, because no matter where we are, since the door's on the bottom, all we need to do is flip and we drop down. So that was actually not bad. When the door's on the top level, it's annoying because you actually have the platform up to it. Oh, Koopa Strikers. Not the most fun enemy to deal with. I think this game predates Mario Strikers Charged. Not the first Mario Strikers, but Charged at least. Now, for Koopas, you tend to have to defeat them with the hammer, or bombs, or some method that does not cause them to recoil into their shell, because if they do, they do not count as defeated. Now, more high level enemies. Hammer does double damage, so I'm just basically using the hammer for everything, just because I feel like that's the most efficient way. There we go. I can actually use an item drop, but I the, the game is being really mean with items. Sure, let's pop one of these just to be on the safe side, give us a little bit of leeway in terms of uh, getting through here. I think the red ones are faster. Yeah, they are, I think. Okay, that was nice. Under 10 seconds, not counting the text box. Not shabby. Koopa paratroopers. The red ones, I think, go in a straight line. The green ones kind of bounce. So they do have slightly different behaviors. And just a reminder that enemies with a red outline, or black outline, mean that they can actually flip, so they will mess with us in 3D. So we can't avoid them, but we're not really avoiding enemies, so the whole, oh, we can flip into 3D, is actually completely useless, because we're not going to avoid anything anyway. These guys are very difficult to fight because of these close quarters. Uh, I'm actually going to grab this, because that heals a lot of HP. And we kind of need it. <laughs> no frills, heal. Might as well keep the turtle leaf in case we need it. I usually don't use too many stat boosters, but it's just kind of one of those, of those things that I, it, we don't have another slot, so we might as well just keep it open. Like, keep an open mind about it. Like, oh, maybe we will find a use for a turtle leaf. Maybe for a cursed shell. Cursed shells, I think, are actually better for the Samurai's Kingdom. I don't know how much health a club it has. It's probably not much more than 18, but just barely enough to not count. I have got a level up, which was a full heal. It wasn't too big of a loss using items, because again, we're full up anyway. We're gonna get more items as we go along. So we're not losing out on too much by getting the level up heal. So these have under 10 HP, so you can jump on them. And look, it was right by the door. That's like the best luck, is if it happens to be right next to the door, least uh, effort required. And we're halfway there. If only the, re the uh, last game's pit went this fast, but it does not go this fast. It takes like twice as long. It took like two to three hours on my first run, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I say first run, but it's actually my only run. The only time I've ever done the Thousand Your Door Pit of 100 Trials was for the Let's Play. I have not done it since. At the time of recording, at least, because I am doing a stream playthrough, but as of the time of recording, at least, I haven't actually uh, done the Pit of 100 Trials all the way through since the LP. 
got Merly on the back wall. So these enemies are different, because I think it depends on the amount of hits, not, uh, particularly... ...how much damage you deal. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> We're just gonna keep recollecting this item over and over again. So now we need to use the pipe, which is a little bit of a chore to get to. I could have tricked it out, actually. There's a way to trick that out, where I could have tried to jump onto the pipe and then flip. I think that would, that would work. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe not? Either way, it's not too much of a time loss. Floor 50, so how much more do we have to go? Oh, hi Sp Spania? Sp yeah, Spania. Oh, a mystery. That does like a random thing. I tend to not use mysteries in any game because I like knowing when item does. And it just feels like I'd be better off just knowing than just having a random effect. Now also pointing out that the backdrop is of the second pure heart of Merlin's mansion. Just a nice little visual detail that we're kind of reliving our past adventures through the backgrounds. Oh yeah, because of our t oh. Fire? Fire. <laughs> Got it. Uh, normally undead enemies are weak to fire in most RPGs, so that is a trend that stays. Look, that's 60 damage, because it has an attack boost. Because of, uh, the fire effect, so they're weak to fire. Yeah, I can picture being able to use the trigger for, uh, special moves, if that was actually true. I'm gonna switch back to Mario, just because he's a little bit faster on his feet. Not as much of a chore lumbering through this maze when we have, uh, the option to go a little bit faster. Oh. These are not fun to fight quickly. Oh, thank goodness it was the first one. That was very, very fortunate that we don't have to keep doing that. Dark booze. They pop in and try to spook ya. First try, cool. Well, the door is up there, but this curse ya was a little risky because he could have hit us just by the sheer trying to get up to the ledge. So that was actually lucky. You know what, I haven't actually decided if I'm going to do the pip, the fox like pip hunter trials. Uh, just because it's kind of the same thing, but harder. Uh, spoiler, you also have to do it twice. So I haven't decided if I'm going to show the flop side pip hunter trials in its entirety, and even so, it will only be one time. It will not be both times. That's a crazy daisy. Crazy daisies are... Bad. I said a crazy daisy, I mean a mazy daisy. The gold one's an amazy daisy, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. They're obnoxious. I think they're easier to defeat in this game, just on the merits of being a side scroller, not an RPG. <laughs> but yeah, they run and take off in a hurry. So, uh, spoiler, he doesn't usually have the key, because he can flee the battle. <laughs> but if you defeat him, you get a ridiculous, and I mean ridiculous amount of experience. So if you can flag down an amazing daisy, it is worth your time. It is an extremely good way to level up. And, as a bonus, if you have a catch card SP, if you can actually catch an amazing daisy and then sell the card, you can actually make a lot of coins. So that is a good farming method for, for money. We do not have a catch card SP though, so we're kind of out of luck. And there you go. Actually, no, it's despawning. I was like, should I grab that? And it's like, nah, the game decided for me not to get that. And of course, on room 60, we have the card of carry. And Flim's back. Let's see what he has. 
Uh, really expensive stuff and stuff that isn't worth it. Color me flustered. Uh, poor guy. We, oh, we don't have a ton. We're gonna use this. We're gonna let it do its thing. Uh, like off screen. And yeah, we made another 30 floors, so I think this is a good stopping place for now. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Super Paper Mario.